About the Premier League was the other question, young players. Well, we have problems with that in the sense that our league is a very, very wealthy league. Um, it does attract a lot of the world's best players from Europe and South America, perhaps more than from Asia. And as a result, of course, the number of English players who actually play regularly in the Premier League is probably less than in other leagues. Well, we know it is. You know, We know that statistic. I can give you the statistics if you want. Um, however, um, it has, in recent months, perhaps, or over the last year, thrown up some very interesting young players. I think at the moment we have a very good under-21 team, for example, a good under-20 team. Some young players are finding their way into the first teams of clubs. So it seems that over the two years I've been doing the job, selections become easier in the sense that there are more players to choose from, albeit that the numbers are less than in the other leagues. But, you know, you can only play with 11. So whether you've got 40 or 50 in the league or 120 in the league, you can only play with 11. Some of the best players <coughs> that we have as young players... They're at the top clubs. They're at the top four, five, six clubs in the country. Uh, but because they're at the top four, five and six clubs in the country, they're competing with the very, very best that foreign, the foreign market can, can sell to us. And it's harder for them to get into the team because they're competing with, with other world stars. What do young players bring? Young players bring often an energy and... Um, even to some extent a, a confidence um, that sometimes gets eroded with time. I can, I can sort of liken it, if you like, to climbing up a ladder. You know, when you're at the bottom of the ladder and you know you've got the ability to get to the top of it, you only see the rungs in front of you. You only see the, the steps upward. And what's more, people are quite kind in their judgment of you as well. So you can play a game and you might not even play that well in the game. But because people like the idea of you as a young one, new on the scene, and they like the way you look and the way you play, you might do something good at some later stage in the game and still come off the field with star ratings. Then, unfortunately, you get to the top of the ladder. Now there's only one way to go now. You know, you've got to cling on to that top of the ladder and make certain you continue to play extremely well because you know now that the first mistakes you make, people are trying to knock you back down again. And, of course, you have to take that into tournaments with you. So, for example, if you just take two players I saw yesterday playing extremely well for their club team, Suarez and Gerard, you know, every, everything Suarez does well will be taken for granted. Everything Gerard does will be taken for granted. But... If they miss a goal chance or miss a pass or don't play particularly well, the headlines next day will be vicious against them. Whereas the young player, he'll get away with it. So that's the big difference between youth and age. Roy, this Premier League title race is so tight. It's actually giving you, is it giving you a very good impression of how those younger players coping, coming through are dealing with pressure? Look at mm. Sturridge, Sterling and Barkley this weekend. No, that's absolutely right, Kerry. It's a... Uh, they, uh, it's what you want, you know, going into a tournament, you want, you want your players playing, you want them playing at the highest level, you want them being tested out, you want them meeting, if you like, situations that they're likely to be meeting when they put an England shirt on, because we're going to be meeting the best the world has to offer in terms of opponents. So in that respect, everything's positive. The, the, the negatives, I mean, I've had a long time to get used to Theo Walcott. I've had a bit less time to get used to the threat. They're the things now that could bother me more than anything else. The, the title race is going to be very exciting. There'll be some fantastic games. Uh, and all I have to worry about, I guess, is that the players come through them and are there on May the 12th or May the 13th when I actually name the squad.